shoes. You guys should let us know in the comments how many babies you think she's gonna have. And the winner gets them all. <laughs> Just kidding, I don't think you can send kittens to the mail. You can send a lot of things to the mail. I don't think kittens are one of them. Egg production's definitely starting to wane. We've only been getting like five, like five or six eggs a day now. So these cooler temperatures. I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to get a measurement off of the pigs tonight because they're getting as you can tell they're getting huge and there is a measurement which I'll explain here later I'm going to get the two measurements off of them I'm going to do it while they're calm right now and then I'll feed them a little bit more maybe hey you're all right okay it's all right see So you're just getting them used to that, yeah. that thing? I'm just putting it over them because what I need to do is I need to measure around their, their belly. Let's see, I'm, I'm going to do this. Yeah, Probably going to get knocked down. That would make for a good video. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, these are probably 140, 150, maybe plus pound pigs. So you've got to be careful in how you're dealing with them. And like I said, they're a little jumpy. Hey, 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 hey. I need to loop it around them. So it'd be easier if I could get a bigger one where they could step through it. But this is the one we have, so. They are having none of it. Hey, girl. Come here. Hey, hey, come here. I guess got to get your heart girl. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. This is fresh, fresh. Fresh, fresh. Yeah. Whoa, fresh, fresh, fresh food. Yeah. Whoa, fresh. Okay. Okay. So forty. We we'll call that forty. Forty inches even. On. So we're gonna call that. 46, we'll add an inch, because I don't think I got all the way there, 47. I don't know if you ever got pig kisses, but they like to get in your, the, on your pants and slobber all over you. Mm -hmm. Did you know another interesting fact about pigs? The only way a pig can sweat is through their nose. So their nose is always somewhat moist if it's hot. Okay. Yeah. It's the only way a pig can sweat. So that's why they like mud wallows. Keeps them cool, cools their internal temperature. Dad, look at us on. In the pond. Can you step in the pond? Yeah. What's in your shoe? Duckweed. Oh, man. Now you're going to turn into a duck. You're going to have duck feet. No. No. You'll be able to swim really good. Then where will I swim? In the pond. No. <laughs> we had our first freeze this weekend. 
And right before that, I harvested some of our herbs. We got parsley, sage, and rosemary. Makes a nice little border in the window, and man, it smells really good sitting under here. So it's getting me excited for next year, planning out our garden. I want to do a big herb garden next year. I've done a lot of herbs before for medicinal purposes, but I really want to focus, I think, on teas and cooking herbs next year. So I've been looking through our magazines already. I know it's kind of early for that, but I just can't help myself. Another thing that we did was um, pick our tomatoes that were still on the vines, and we wrapped them in this paper. So we'll see if any of them already are starting to turn red. Here's one, a little bit. I think these are the black creme tomatoes from Baker Creek. I'm not sure. I think that's what they are. But these are delicious, and they've got a real kind of hearty, um, old-fashioned tomato taste. Oh, look, you got one. Yes. <laughs> Here, we can put it on the windowsill because that one's almost done. Yeah, so yes. Your plan worked. Yes, it did. Good job. You got stick tights in your hair. Yeah. You mean stickies? Yeah. yeah. I'll tickle you guys. <laughs> did that actually tickle him? Mm, I don't think so, but maybe. All right, guys. So you saw me earlier taking measurements of the pig, the pigs, and I got that out, and I actually have calculated that, and now I'm estimating off of those measurements. I'm able to get a somewhat accurate estimate on what their weight is. So I'm gonna pull up my calculator on my handy dandy smartphone here. Here's the equation. You take the heart girth, which is the circumference that you measure around their heart, so slightly behind the front legs of the pig. That was 40 times the heart girth, again, times the body length. Slightly, the basically the point of their head at the behind their ears to the, to the base of their tail is your measurement for body length. So that is 47 equals 75 200 so from that number I take it and divide by 400 so 75 200 divided by 400 equals 188 on the dot so 188 pounds is where our pigs are that's awesome we're super happy to hear that that means they're getting very close I would anticipate that they will probably finish up sometime in mid to late December. We were originally going to do three pigs and we settled on two because that's what we could find at the time. And now we, next year we will definitely do more. We're thinking of expanding our pig operation. Uh, finding a source was important this year. That source is still available. We're, we're praying that it is still available in the spring and then probably becoming a little more self-sufficient. There's a possibility that we could get into actually um, a, a sow that we could breed ourselves uh, and start a pasture uh, pig operation. Last year we decided we wanted to do pigs and so over the winter I read some books and one of the books that I actually purchased, I bought this book used, was Homegrown Pork. And I found it to be a very, very, very useful book for raising pigs. It answers a lot of questions. It's an easy read. It's not, it's not super technical, but it, it explains things in a very straightforward manner about pigs. And it's written by Sue Weaver. I'll leave a link in the description below if you wanna go check that book out. And that's about all we got today. Thanks for coming along with us. We'll see you guys.